Hello, Miss Myers. Hello. Sorry for my behavior yesterday, okay? I was too hasty. Anyway, I'm sorry. Consider it water under the bridge. I'm new to the Force. Relatively new. The Lieutenant promoted me, and she expects a lot of me. Sometimes the pressure is hard to handle. What if I'm not good enough? I've been in more than a few high-pressure situations myself. My advice? Think of yourself as a trapeze artist on a high wire. If you constantly think about falling, that's paralyzing. You can't perform. Take one small step at a time. Focus on the task at hand. Deep breaths help, too. <sighs> Thank you for the advice. Thank you. Now, can you point me to Judith's office? Of course. The door on the right upstairs. She's expecting you. Thank you, Uli. Anna. Who are those men leaving your office? My superiors. Red tape gives me a damn headache. Smoking like chimneys. Could you open the window? Absolutely. <coughs> I can't breathe with the smoke. Crack a window, would you? My boss is exactly the same with his disgusting cigars. They're just awful. Men or cigars? Ha! Huh. Both, I suppose. So, did your leads go anywhere? Nope. Vanessa hired a maid. Vilma Zommer had an apartment key, but her alibi is tight. So, we're back to square one. No strong motive. Keep your sleeves rolled up. It's a tough case. Got to stay focused. Well, don't forget to eat. Ruben says hello. He asked me to give you his sandwich. Things I can't feed myself like I'm a child. I thought it was sweet. He cares about you. Well, enough about me. You should meet our forensics expert. He works in the lab downstairs. Let's go. What a surprise to see you here, Anna. You two know each other? Without Dirk's help, I wouldn't have solved half my cases. He's taught me a lot. She flatters me, but there are many analysts like me in the world. Anna's intuition and ambition are one of a kind. The Vanessa Fiedler murder. Yes, let's dive in, shall we? There was, there was another print on her typewriter, but it was damaged, so we can only guess who the print belongs to. As for, there were also signs of sexual assault. Then it's likely the crime was committed by a man. Anything else? Evidence suggests she was strangled to death, then stabbed with a knife half an hour later. Stabbed half an hour later? Why? I have no idea. Why is your department, isn't it? Perhaps he needed blood to write his message. How revolting. Dirk, may I have a look at the damaged fingerprint? If you doesn't mind. I'll sign off, Dirk. Let her look. The fingerprint lab is right over there, Anvil. fingerprint files, there's a strong chance Iris Kniff is a match. Agreed, but it won't be admissible as evidence, since we can't guarantee a perfect match. At least it gives us a lead. Iris said she knew Vanessa, but implied they weren't close. If Iris was in Vanessa's home, perhaps they were closer than she let on. What's Iris hiding? Should we go to the gallery and ask her? Not yet. I'll ask Ely to trail her first. That often gets us new leads. You know best, Lieutenant. I told you. Call me Judith. Right, you did it is. Lieutenant, bloodshed at the hospital. What happened? A nurse called, said a doctor was killed. She was in shock, wouldn't say anything else over the phone. We have to hurry. Join us, Anna. Certainly, which hospital? Hart Krankenhaus, in the suburbs. I'm on my way.
Yes, ma'am. Vilma Zama, Vanessa's mate. I questioned her about the murder earlier today. Vanessa's mate? I wonder if their murders are connected. Don't jump to conclusions. This must be Dr. Raymond Pons. Stabbed multiple times, no other visible news. Sorry, Lieutenant. Sorry. Go and question the nurses. Find out everything they saw tonight. Yes, ma'am. I haven't seen you speak so brusquely before. This isn't kindergarten, Anna. Look around. Uli needs to toughen up. Act more like Oscar. Anyway, back to work. The scalpel is the likely murder weapon. It's covered in blood. If the murderer found their weapon in the hospital, perhaps it was a spontaneous decision to kill Dr. Kranz. Mm, looks like it. Grabbed the first sharp object they saw. Do you mind if I give the doctor's corpse a closer look? Go right ahead. What a ghastly way to go. The stab wounds look frantic. Chaotic, if you will. Less of a murder, more of a rampage. Precisely. What do you make of the Science Universe journals fixed to the wall? Covered in blood. Very strange. Maybe the killer hates doctors, or Science Universe. Then why not destroy the journals? This looks almost like... Decoration? Yes, exactly. Let's continue. What's he holding in his fist? It's a little hard to tell, since it's soaked in blood. I'd better clean it first. The blood is dry and crusty. I'll need a wet sponge to clean it properly. I found a wet gauze. This should do the trick. Search for clues. Search for clues. Great! I found the poem, The Joy. The Joy. Death is our only son. We leave both mother and child. Slaughter is our final joy. What's that filth you're reading? It's a poem the doctor was holding. Very similar in style to the poem from yesterday. This is strong evidence the murders are connected. Give it here. Don't rush to judgment. Maybe there's a link. Feels circumstantial, though, not conclusive. Is it possible Vilma may have killed Dr. Kranz? It's possible. Maybe she killed him, and then hanged herself. But what's the motive? Hmm. Interesting how the desk lamp is pointed at the crime scene. It's almost like a spotlight. Combined with the poem, it reminds me of an art installation. A chilling one. Search Dr. Kranz's belongings. See if there's a link. Between the victims? Excellent idea. You did. I uncovered something important. What is it? Vilma Zoma's treatment course. Dr. Kronz was her doctor, and... Oh, how horrible. What? Show me those medical files. She was pregnant. Dreadful, isn't it? And that's not the whole story. Keep reading. Hmm. She had pneumonia. She'd already lost her child. 
due to the pneumonia. More precisely, due to the pneumonia medications prescribed by her doctor. A revenge killing. Not the work of our mad artist. I don't know. Something seems off. You told me earlier Vilma was a maid, right? Yes. Why? Have you noticed her expensive new dress? How could a maid possibly afford that? Hmm. Maybe the dress was a gift, or she saved up for it. She saved for a nice dress with all those baby expenses coming up? Unlikely. Especially if Vilma was planning to raise the baby herself. Is she married? I'll look into it. Uli, over here. I want a file on Vilma Zammer. She was pregnant. We need the father's name. Yes, ma'am. Well, I think that's enough excitement for one night. We make a good team, you and I. I couldn't agree more, you did. I'll keep you posted. Get home safe. Today will be another busy day, no doubt. Anna Myers speaking. Morning. I have an assignment for you. There was an incident at the Cabaret Russo last night. An altercation of some sort. Go there, gather a few quotes, and write it up. I'll head over right away. My investigation of Vanessa's murder has stalled anyway. This is your top priority. I want an article on my desk by the end of the day. 